Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm doing a lot of talking with my hands as normal, so excuse that. Um, today this video is this video is a little bit different, just because I don't know, kind of hesitate to put it up, just because of what my channel is about and like what I talk about but it kind of like everything I do has purpose um well I try to make everything that I do have purpose like stuff like this is it definitely holds purpose because God cares about everything about me and about you and about us so um it definitely has purpose so it definitely relates but this video is going to be mainly about like natural hair um so <laughs> This video is kind of for my mom too because my mom is struggling with the whole natural hair journey and stuff like that. Um, and I'm hoping it helps somebody else too. So right now I have my natural hair out. Um, it's in a blowout so that's why the puff looks so big because my hair is honestly not that long. Um, now I gotta make it look nice because I was touching it and stuff. Gotta make it look nice again. And it just doesn't fit in the frame. I didn't feel like propping the camera up and it's too much work. But, um, so, yeah, this video is going to be about, like, how natural hair changed my life. And it definitely, I can definitely say it changed my life, like, a lot. Because before, like, I've had, my hair was permed from probably age four or five up until I'm not coming here last year last year up until I was 19 so from like four to five to 19 my hair was relaxed actually the year before I cut my hair like I stopped getting perms and I started getting texturizers but my hair was li has literally been relaxed since I was five so getting texturizers literally made no difference it literally straightened my hair still um so yeah that happened and then i ended up cutting my hair but the reason it took me so long because i wanted to go natural like before like there were times i attempted to go natural in high school and it just did not work out one i didn't know what i was doing like i didn't research i didn't study like i did about natural hair when i went natural last year like at that time when I was in high school I hadn't studied about like natural hair and like natural hair is definitely something you have to know and study for it to work out for you but um I tried to go natural or whatever and it just didn't work out because no that's not what I was talking about um <laughs> oh yes I know what I was talking about sorry but yeah hard to keep on track with so so much detail but um basically straight hair was like honestly it became an ep epidemic in the black community like if i can be all the way honest like it was like a standard of beauty like all the people all the girls with the opposite range of skin color than us um their hair was straight and so like it just became like this thing and then like our hair is nappy and hard to manage so we started like putting relaxers in our hair and stuff like that and for me like one because of my hair color I got a lot of sorry I just wiped off some of my lip gloss <laughs> I got a lot of compliments on my hair and then because it was straight like you can literally see everything that's going on with it and my hair my mom managed it really well so it's actually really really healthy like I never really had a problem with thinning hair like people say they do with like perms and stuff like I never really had that problem I always had pretty thick hair so like I would get a lot of compliments on how healthy it looked and like I just really took pride in my hair because of the fact that like I got so many compliments on it and like it was to the point where I was like where I felt like my hair made me like that straight hair that look was my signature look and it made me like it made me beautiful it made me you know attractive like if I didn't have my hair down and straight and sometimes I wear it up in a bun and I would feel kind of cute but if I didn't have my hair like down and straight and like it wasn't I wasn't feeling it um so that was a big thing and then like length like obviously with natural hair like you can't see your length that much like you don't 
I just realized you could see the reflection of the lights in my glasses. Um, but you don't see length. So it's straight hair. Like you could see my real length. Like you could see hitting my shoulders and then hitting my bar my bra strap. Like you can see the length. Because sometimes people mistake natural hair because it's in a shrunken state as short and you don't have that much hair. But with straight hair, you can see my length. Nobody could call me bald headed. Like this is stuff that mattered to me, if I can be honest. Like I was a really shallow person. And so like that was that played a big part in why I cut my hair like it just when I cut my hair I realized literally the song in diary I am not my hair like literally that like it was like I'm really not my hair when I cut my hair um and I I'm gonna insert some pictures here that's why I just stopped because I was like should I insert some pictures I don't even know if I really have any of the like pictures from the first day I cut my hair I don't know we'll look at that later but it was literally like an I am not my hair moment it was like I'm gonna rebuild my confidence on the fact that I am beautiful regardless of hair inside and out like when I cut my hair I was like this is the moment where you literally go back to the beginning and build your confidence from the ground up because like literally my beauty is based on my hair and since I was cutting off my hair it was like, oh, your beauty's gone. Now you, you're forced to see yourself as beautiful. Um, because you are, literally. Not because of your hair. Um, also, another reason why I cut my hair. Plus, I didn't like change. I was about to go into some of this, but I didn't like drastic changes like that. Like, I like to keep it, you know, like simple like this is what works for me so let's go with this let's stay with this like let's just keep it simple like I was never brave enough to do anything like that like especially because of like how the world receives stuff like that I would just wasn't brave enough um and so like that was one a big change and two it made me feel like I was like like I could conquer anything because like I just cut off my hair like this is something I took pride in and I just cut it off so yeah that was big and then also like when I cut my hair I wanted to it was just like I was being exposed to more holistic um approaches to life and holistic sorry I don't know if I said that right holistic approaches of life and it made me want to be more healthy like with my natural hair I actually had to take time and take care of it with my relaxed hair like I didn't have to do as much to it as I have to do my natural hair so kind of knocked off some laziness there too but like I know I was gonna I wanted to do, use more natural products in my natural hair because I wanted my natural hair to flourish and then you want to use more natural that leads to you wanting to use like more natural products on your skin and then that leads to you wanting to eat healthier and that leads to you wanting to work out and like I'm gradually still working on those things but I'm getting better like I used to like I don't eat red meat anymore I used to eat um like pork and um beef and all that don't eat that anymore so like I'm taking little steps I work out not as much as I should I work out here and there every now and then but I'm getting better um so like it ignited something in me to want to take care of myself even more because like now I have to like take time to take care of this well let's take care of the rest of my body too because like this is my temple like this is this is like my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. I need to be intentional with taking care of like literally my whole entire body. Like this is something God gave me to be stored over and I need to make sure I take time with it and be intentional with taking care of it. Even if it is a lot of work because God didn't have to, just to be honest, like I feel like we take advantage of um, the fact of how normal we are. Like I feel like being normal has become normal, but like, I don't have to have my face where like everything is in place. 
like there's burned victims who like their face is like messed up and they have to have surgery and like still their face doesn't look normal but they do as much as they can to make their face look normal and like a lot of people um shalom black on youtube like she's a burn victim and it burned like her scalp so now her hair doesn't i think her hair doesn't grow i know she wears wigs a lot and like she doesn't have hair i don't know if she shaves it or not but i think like when she was burned like it burned like her hair follicles and her hair doesn't grow and like just literally stuff like that that we take for granted like the norms stuff that seems normal for us some people don't have that so it's like we need to be more intentional about taking care of like our hair and like our bodies and our skin and like just taking care of everything because like no matter how hard it is because God doesn't have to be as good as he is to us to give us these things you know like I just feel like natural hair natural hair can literally spark and ignite something in you to make you want to do better and like live better and so yeah um as far as like taking care of yourself um it can be something that helps you with like you know career and stuff like that my life really isn't it's the greatest example of that but it's okay that's another video for another time but um like it just made me and it's helping me become more disciplined and it just made me realize like how intentional God really wants us to be with stuff like this so yeah natural hair really changed my life for the better as far as like personal life you know so yeah and I'm pretty sure there's other aspects that like this the discipline and just being intentional and the lessons I took from this it's going to trickle into other things in my life and other aspects of my life because God cares about every aspect of your life he has the numbers of hairs he has your hair strands numbered so it's not like oh he he does know how many is on your head but when fun, one falls out he's like oh that's number so and so that's number 52 or that's number 1057 um i don't know i keep going to 50s but like yeah so i just wanted to come talk about that I'm trying to show the whole thing here and i just got a fresh trim last night so actually my first trim since i went natural so yeah um i just wanted to come talk about that and i keep looking at the monitor Sorry, right, I'm so bad about that. I need to put the monitor right in front of the camera so I can look straight at the camera. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and make this video and just talk about like stuff like that. And I, sp I feel like especially with the black community, like we definitely need to embrace like our curls and our natural hair because I was reminded of... Um, this video uh, not this video this like documentary it was something I watched on BET I don't remember like what it's called what it was called but it was basically like telling a story of like how basically she came it was a story of a woman she came from her tribe in Africa like pretty much they came and got her and brought her over to here the US and um she was sold into slavery and her slave master he liked her pretty much like he thought she was beautiful but she of course wanted nothing to do with him he wanted her she didn't want anything to do with him she found another man and he got upset that she found another man but she had like this big head of gorgeous hair that she wore like she wore it out and he cut off her hair in front of like everybody because he knew that like her hair was like one of the things that like of course you're beautiful without hair but he knew her hair like made her beautiful like her hair was like something beautiful about her so it's like if he cut off her hair like she wasn't as desirable to anybody else or nobody else would want her so the fact that literally that slave master a white man saw so much value in a black woman's hair I feel like we should we should do the same you know like we should want to take care of it and we should want to 
you know, do right by it because if they can see the beauty in it, we need to see the beauty in it. So, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like natural hair is really, like, it's just embracing, like, the way, just, like, being intentional and caring and embracing the way God made you. And it's just, ah, uh, I don't know. I'm in love with this stuff. Like, this wooly, hard, to manage, thick, can't figure it out for nothing stuff. Like, I love it. Like, it may be hard. It may be expensive. It may be just literally everything that everybody says natural hair is. It may be that, but I love it. And I... I wouldn't change it. I'm not going back to perms. I'm not like it's one of those things where it's like if you want it, you'll make time for it and I want it because I feel like it's a way for me to honor God. So yeah. Um that's about it for this video. Um I didn't want to make it too long, but I definitely think that you're beautiful. Natural hair is beautiful. And that you should embrace it because God loves when you embrace the way that he just naturally made you. Like, think about it. God naturally, God, not I want to say naturally. God took time to literally make this and literally handcraft you and, you know, make that your hair texture. Why, why change it? Like, you were perfect. Perfect the way he made you, so. Yeah. Um... That is my spill. That is my take. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, maybe I can make more videos like this. I don't know. We'll see how it meshes with my channel. But until next time. The enemy love to be nosy, but she remember copping chosen, so she would be up like we toasted. Yeah. Stay away, yeah. Stay away, yeah. Stay away, yeah. Stay away, yeah. If you keep your word up, how long will you be before we say something? I'm still recording. <laughs>